Hey, what's up guys? I'm one half of the Caper Couple back again with another very cool unboxing video of an awesome little whoop drone. So this one guys is the ESU US 65. There are two versions of this. Well, it's the same drone. You just get two different colors. So you can get this one which has the US flag or you can get the UK flag and I've got the US version. So into the box we go. You get your colored instructions which shows you how to set it up to beta flight. And everything you need to do there guys. Um, if you're new to this, it's pretty confusing at first. But you'll eventually get the hang of it. Just go on YouTube. My suggestion is to check out Joshua Bardwell. He has a ton of videos on these and how to set them up. How to get your way into FPV. So that being said, there's your US-65 guys, has a wicked little camera, 19,000 kilovolt Eachine motors, brushless motors at that, give you a little close up, see those tiny little motors, they are small, but don't let that fool you guys, this is a quick little ripper, it zips around pretty fast, and it's very controllable. Like I say, I'm a brand new flyer and I can control this one. It's it's pretty easy. Now, not in acro mode. I cannot fly these yet. Very great in acro mode. I'm stuck in air mode right now. And I'm stuck in that on this one because I screwed up beta flight when I went to change the settings and install everything. Like I say, if you're new to this, you're going to need some help setting this up. So I, I kind of like screwed everything. I pooched it all. I had to go back, reinstall everything back into the quad from, from scratch. I was able to get the quad back up and flying again. I had this thing that messed up, guys, that only two motors would, would turn at a time. When I I'd throttle up, nothing would spin. I roll left or right, two motors would spin. So I had to go back into beta flight and change a pile of settings that I messed up myself. Now, I've actually got the quad flying again, air mode set up, but there's still a bit of work to do this in beta flight yet to get it back the way it was. Because these little things have a thing called turtle mode, which means if you crash it, it flips upside down, you can flick a switch and this little quad will pop back over. So you don't have to go pick it up. You can just flick the switch. It'll pop over and take off again. So that being said, guys, here's what else is in the box. You get a six battery charger. It's a digital charger. It'll tell you the voltage and stuff while you're charging. This little quad comes with three batteries. For the price of this quad, guys, it was certainly worth it. I believe I paid just barely over $100 for this quad. And I'm going to tell you guys, once you start getting into this hobby, it's going to get expensive because you're going to keep buying them and buying them. So you get three batteries. You get a prop removal tool, a complete set of extra props in case you break them screwdriver, uh, a few pieces of odd hardware, and that's it. So, here you see what's in the box. Three batteries. Their batteries are 250 milliamp. I believe they're high voltage guys, but it doesn't say that on them. I think I went back and I checked. I checked on Banggood where I bought them, and I believe under the quad it said high voltage 250 milliamp. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I, I think I'm correct there. I think I went back and I looked at these just to make sure what what the voltage was on them so I could charge them all up with my Mobula batteries, which are pretty much the same, but the Mobula are 4.35 volts, I believe. Can't remember, guys. Anyway, 
we will head over to the field guys and you guys will see what this flies like but the only thing is i don't have a dvr module for my goggles yet so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to take this gopro camera that you're watching me on now i'm going to stick it inside of those goggles my box goggles these are my emax box goggles so i'll put that inside of them you'll at least get to see what the fpv is like so that being said i guess we'll catch it back over the field peace out hey what's up guys so i'm over in the field i'm going to give you guys a little view of what the us 65 flies like so catch right back when i set this up i'm going to try and show you guys what the what the goggle view was like so i'll be right back <laughs> the us 65 guys what do you think of that it's an amazing little flyer super fun i really suggest you buy it if you're into this hobby if you're going to get into the hobby it's a great starter drone it's not that hard for me to fly the one i have the ones i have the most trouble with right now are the mobula 7 and the tiny hawk the emax tiny hawk 2 uh, I find both of those quads super crazy when you get them up in the air because they're so fast This one is pretty fast, but it's really controllable at its speed You just see me go full tilt uh, I, I'd certainly come full tilt back into the wind as it's a little breezy today But going out I'd ease off a little bit because the wind is heading that way And it's just a great little flyer guys easy to control easy to maintain now I've just got to set up the other two modes on it. Uh, what I was in, I believe, is air mode, which it'll auto level itself out, and I want to do the flips and rolls with it. So that being said, guys, don't forget to subscribe, leave us a like, make sure your notifications are on, guys. Leave your comments down below because we love reading them. I'll, I'll try and answer as many as I can. I know as the channel grows bigger, it's going to be harder to answer all you guys, but I'll do my best, guys. So all that being said, catch you later, guys. Peace.